We're making a fun, healthy dessert. So I'm placing one banana slice into each of my ice cube trays. So I sliced my banana on the thicker side, as you can see here. And I'm just placing one in the bottom of my ice tray. This is a super fun, healthy dessert to make. All right, perfect. So next, we are going to take some peanut butter. I'm using this organic peanut butter. I usually like to get my peanut butter at Whole Foods or Costco. When looking for peanut butter, you want the only ingredients to be peanuts. You don't want any added oils or added sugars. So I am taking a small spoonful of peanut butter and then just placing it on each one of my banana slices. Have you guys ever had a Snickers ice cream bar? This is my healthy version of a Snickers ice cream bar, but they are gonna be in little perfect bite form. So I love these because you can just grab one out of the freezer. They're healthy, they taste delicious, they're low in sugar. And we have a couple more steps after this, so just wait till after we add this peanut butter. These are gonna be so good. So if you want, you can gently spread the peanut butter so that it covers most of the banana slice. This part doesn't really matter, but if you want, you can do this. I just wanna make sure I'm gonna get peanut butter in every single bite because I am a big peanut butter lover. So I'm just gonna set this aside for a minute and I am taking about 3 fourths cup of chocolate chips and two teaspoons of coconut oil. And I am gonna place this in the microwave for 30 seconds, give it a stir, and then stick it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds until they are fully melted. I do it in intervals because you wanna make sure not to burn your chocolate. Okay, so our chocolate chips are fully melted. Look at how good that looks. So I am going to take our bananas with peanut butter and I'm just gonna add a spoonful right on top. These are gonna be so good. You can smell the chocolate with the peanut butter. That is my favorite combination. Does anyone else love chocolate and peanut butter? Let me know in the comments. I know I can't be the only one. That is my favorite. So it, it gets a little bit messy, but that's fine. This honestly takes only a few minutes to make and you have healthy little desserts ready for you whenever you have a sweet craving. So that's why I love making these and keeping a stash right in my freezer. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of shake this around so that the chocolate is nice and even throughout my ice tray. Shake it out so we don't have any air bubbles in there. These look so good already, but we are gonna add one last touch to give them a true Snickers flavor. I'm adding some crushed peanuts right on top. So I just took some peanuts and sliced them up and I'm just gonna add these right on top of each banana Snickers bite. Would you guys try this recipe? Let me know in the comments if this is something that you would make at home. Alrighty. I think these look so good. I am so excited to eat them. So the next step is I am just gonna place these in the freezer. It'll probably take maybe a couple of hours for them to completely harden, but it's gonna be worth the wait. These are gonna be so good, and I can't wait for you to see when we slice into it what the inside looks like. They are gonna be so good. So this ice tray comes with this cute little lid, so I'm just gonna place that right on top, and then I will stick these in the freezer. Okay, it has been a couple hours since we put our banana Snickers into the freezer. Don't these look so good? So now here's the fun part. We're just gonna go ahead and pop each one of these out. Look at how good that looks with our peanut butter, our chocolate. There's our banana in there. So I'm just gonna grab a plate and set this right on my plate here. You could leave these in the ice tray and then just pop one out whenever you are craving a sweet treat but I'm just gonna take them all out and then store them in a plastic baggie in my freezer. Look at how good that looks with the peanut butter, the chocolate, our crushed peanuts on top. This is such a good, easy, and healthy snack. Look at how cute these turned out. They're the perfect sweet snack bite. So let's cut into one and see what our inner layer is looking like. 
So like I said, these were only in the freezer for a couple of hours, so they're not completely frozen. So look at how good this looks. We have our banana layer, the peanut butter, the chocolate, our peanuts on top. So these aren't even completely frozen. If you wanted them even harder, you could keep them in the freezer for four to six hours or overnight. But I kind of like them a little bit thawed. So these are so delicious. Let me know in the comments if you will try these out.